So as I sat here listening to all the frustration with the two parties, the Democrats and the Republicans, I realized it's actually quite a good time to be the chair of a local third party <laughs> coming up here to speak. So hopefully nobody's frustrated with us just yet. I want to, I just have a quick question here. All my libertarian peers aside, so don't answer, I don't want to hear from other people who just have to raise their hand. If you've ever had a conversation at length with a libertarian, anybody? Okay, good. We've got a couple here. I'm not very sorry. Uh, for the rest of you, consider yourself lucky because we can be a very ornery bunch. Okay? So. Uh, with good uh, reason. Uh, with good reason. With good reason. And, uh, and, and I'll get into that in just a moment. It's not just a, a joke at our expense. Uh, I want to follow up on something that Eric said earlier about you know being socially liberal and fiscally conservative. And in the libertarian community, there is a lot of you know, people get kind of upset because they feel like that doesn't quite capture who we really are. <clears throat> so let me kind of expand on that just a wee bit. And you might think this is a more accurate description, which is when it comes to government involvement in the lives of individuals. We are socially liberal, liberal and fiscally taxation is theft. Okay, that's where we are. Like, when you talk to us, it's almost a guarantee that we're gonna, at some point, talk about how we don't like taxes. Okay, like that's a big thing. But I'm here to talk about how the Libertarian Party platform addresses uh, medical privacy. And to do that, I, I wanna first tell you that at the affiliate level, we don't have a platform. We follow the platform from our state, uh, our state level, and then also the national level. And, and I'll read what it says in just a moment. They're not very long, uh, but to understand it. And, and by the way, just just to get it right out, right out there, both platforms support medical freedom. Just, just right out the gate here. Um, the reason that they support medical freedom is for us. The core of every position that we have starts with something called self ownership. And that means each one of you own your own self. And so because you own your own self, you are the final decision maker on what happens to your body. And since we're talking about like vaccines and stuff like that, what that means is if you want to take a vaccine, experimental or not, it's your choice because it's your body. If you choose not to, also your choice. Nobody gets to decide that for you. So let me read to you what the uh, what it says on our platform. It's really quick here. So from the from the state party platform, this is what it says: the fundam the most fundamental property right is an individual right to own and control his or her own body. All individuals have the right to determine their own health care, uh, their own health care needs, and treatment. Government should neither interfere nor impose upon the practitioner-patient relationship. And in the National Party, they're a little bit longer just by a few words, and here's what it says. We favor a free market healthcare system. We recognize the freedom of individuals to determine the level of health insurance they want, if any, the level of health care they want, the care providers they want, the medicines and treatments they will use, and all other aspects of their medical care, including end-of-life decisions. People should be free to purchase health care insurance across the state lines. So as you can see, both platforms rely heavily on this idea of self-ownership. And the idea behind self-ownership, this, this is why we get so honorary, because when we start talking to people, we start from a position of, I own myself, you own yourself. And then everything else from that point on does one of two things. It either respects that right or it violates it. End of story. So when we get on, if you can happen to have a conversation with us and we're being a bit frustrated, take a moment to think and say, all right, well, how is this, how is this addressing this person's belief in the, the, the right to self-ownership? And you will probably start to understand better where we're coming from. Outside of that, um, I don't really have anything else because I mean, it's pretty simple. We support your right to do with your body what you will. And it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if you want to choose your particular doctor or whether you want to choose a particular medication that you will or will not use. It's all up to you because we start and end with self-ownership. That's all I have.